Hey guys, I wanted to do a top 10 list again with uh, some of the different pet peeves that we have in lawn care. You guys know I'm a pretty positive guy, but there is still things in lawn care that annoy the heck out of me, and I'm sure you guys as well. Uh, shout out to everybody who added their tips and uh, their top pet peeves, if you will, on Instagram, where I got some of your guys' thoughts uh, to add to this list. But let me go over my top 10 pet peeves with lawn care. There are some things in lawn care that I just don't like. There's some things that just bug the heck out of me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys as well. No particular order, but I am going to work this list backwards, get a little bit more juicy for number one. But let's start with number 10. Top 10 things that are pet peeves of mine, things that I can't stand about the business, and things that just annoy me. Number 10, let's go with Comcast lines. I can't stand when internet cable lines aren't buried. Now, this isn't a slate to the Comcast guys or anything like that, but at the same time, you know, when you guys are going around a house, I hate it when you have a Comcast line going right down the middle of two different properties, and for the love of God, the person who owns the Comcast line in the house doesn't call to get that thing buried. Or number two, your neighbor cuts it and puts it on your lawn. Then you cut it and you put it back on their lawn. And then you cut... Okay, so you guys get the idea. I can't stand Comcast lines that aren't buried. You know what? I know a lot of guys in the industry cut the line on purpose. That way Comcast comes back out and then reburies it. Because I guess one guy uh, lays the line, another guy buries the line. Uh, but sometimes that guy that buries the line just ghosts it, doesn't even do it, and then he's just on to the next one. Number nine is when people let their kids play outside when I'm cutting the grass. It's unreal. I don't understand parents sometimes these days. Like, where's the responsibility, right? I think parents are just weird when they are sitting on their porch with their kid like oh let's watch Brian cut the lawn folks come on you got to put your kids inside I could kick up a rock or a branch or something like that and fling it at you guys or your kids these blades are spinning at 18,500 rpm or whatever it is I just don't understand sometimes so I can't stand when people don't put their kids inside the house or they're running around on the trampoline or they're going back and forth and the kids like wave to you like we're having a good time it's just unreal to me number eight is gonna be gated backyards that are locked I mean I know you guys know that every single day we could come on Tuesday or you have your selected mowing day where it's every Wednesday and the gate is locked. I don't know what you guys do. Do you guys just hop the fence or try to lift your push mower over it or do you guys just take the weed whacker and clean out the whole backyard? The last thing I want to do is come back to your property when the fence in the backyard is locked and now I can't do it. I know a lot of guys just charge the customer the regular price and they say tough luck. You had the gate locked. We're on to the next one. We don't have time to be waiting around for you to tell us where the gate key is or for you to come outside and unlock the gate. Gated backyards, I don't have to deal with those anymore. I've dropped all my gated backyard stuff but from learning the industry and just being on YouTube I realize a lot of you guys have a lot of gated properties and uh, what's some of your guys's way to tackle some of those man I can only imagine number seven is when people tailgate your rig that's a huge pet peeve of mine it's like guys I could have a little stone or a little piece of something come off my mower or the equipment and you guys are following me six feet behind nonetheless I don't know what some of these people are thinking if I can't see you in my mirrors I don't even know that you're behind me and if I come to a quick stop you're gonna get smoked it just blows my mind how close some people follow uh, gravel train trailers or landscape trailers in general. Uh, I can't stand tailgaters for the life of me as it is, but if you're following me really close, I'm one of those people where I'm going to go 25 miles an hour out of 45 and make you that much more frustrated. And I know that's not very mature because the name's on the trailer, but nonetheless, it's like, guys, wake up. Why is some people just tailgate? I just don't understand that one. Number six is going to be people who fertilize the lawn every single week or like every Every 10 days. I have so many lawn customers where I'll go cut the lawn and I swear to God they'll go out and fertilize the lawn right after we mow and then I'll loop back in the sub and I see them doing it and I'm like bro you just fertilized like 10 days ago you do not have to put that stuff down every week then the grass is five inches tall every week you guys know how it goes. To any of the customers out there that watch us hey fertilize your lawn once a month maybe once every 25 days but you do not have to do that stuff every week. Number five this was a submitted one from somebody on Instagram uh, is when people plant things randomly in the middle of their yard. And man, that was a good one because I've seen that too. Sometimes you have people that just plant like a little pine tree thing, little evergreen tree in the middle of the lawn and put little rocks around it. And you expect me not to hit it with a trimmer. You expect me not to hit it with my mower. Sometimes you don't even see this stuff. Uh, I have no idea like how some people think a flower bed in the middle of the backyard makes any sense like landscaping wise. It doesn't look aesthetically nice. It literally makes no sense. Uh, I I know it's the customers like you're trying to earn their business and they can do whatever they want to do but what is the deal with people planting things in the middle of the backyard like in the middle middle I, I just don't understand that 
that want flower beds or you know they put a potted plant it's just really weird sometimes what people think uh, and sometimes as a long hair guy you're like what what were they thinking with that one right number four it's kids toys oh my god don't get me started on this one you see little action figures you see little toy cars heaven forbid you hit that thing and it was their favorite toy sometimes you get those phone calls hey why did you run over my kids spider-man toy that was in my backyard well I'm sorry I guess I didn't see spider-man hanging out over there uh, you know in the jungle of your backyard because you fertilize every 10 days so it's like nine inches tall no I'm just kidding but number four is when people have kids toys all over man you know what I don't mind getting up off the mower I'm not a lazy dude I know some guys just mow over people's toys and trash I'm not that kind of guy I do take some pride with what I do and uh, try to give some quality but nonetheless man uh, I can't say when you have like 15 soccer balls and 15 baseballs uh, 15 racquetballs it's like my gosh man you know your long hair guys coming every Thursday pick that stuff up man the only thing worse than a kid's toy are kids play places oh my god and you got to shuttle those things from one side to the other I'm gonna throw one in there I can't stand trampolines dude I gotta move trampolines from one side to the other and then some customers get mad if you move the trampoline and some customers don't want you to move the trampoline it's like guys make up your mind what do you want me to do <laughs> hopefully you guys are enjoying this because man this is bringing up so many fond memories of cutting grass right number three is going to be people who don't water the lawn that live in nice subdivisions guys i'm still susceptible to it too where i'm cutting lawns in subdivisions where the homes are four hundred fifty thousand dollars, seven hundred thousand dollars, but yet their lawn is burnt to a toast it's like come on man like i know you're making a quarter million dollars a year to even live in this place and not all wealthy people are cheap not all rich people People are cheap but sometimes you get the people who are cheap and that are rich and I'm like look I, I don't understand why you can't water your lawn just a little bit it really helps me keep my income up it really helps me stay in business uh, if you could just water your lawn I'd really appreciate that I always think it's funny that you live in a seven hundred thousand dollar home but yet you want me to cut every other week and you don't fertilize and you don't water it's just I, I don't understand that one so number three is gonna be people who don't water their lawn it's like guys I'm trying to keep regular income uh, do me a favor keep your long hair guy happy keep him employed keep his income up and that way he can keep coming year over year and take care of your lawn and that way you don't have any headaches trying to find a new guy every two years number two and number one these are the most pain in the butt ones for darn sure I'm sure you guys know which ones are coming uh, but number two is a personal pet peeve of mine and that is divots in the lawn I can't stand going over my lawnmower at six miles an hour cutting somebody's backyard and hitting either a water sprinkler a valve box you know hole or just something that they're a husky dog dug out or just some random hole in their backyard and as you know what it's always in the most random of places too isn't it you know I can't stand when you go seven miles an hour you hit it with your back tire and then you scalp the lawn and then it looks like crap you have this beautiful lush green backyard and then all of a sudden there's this like yellow ringed out circle and you guys know exactly what I'm talking about man you know what my laser ZS the one that I had before the mower I have now it did not have the full suspension seat and I'm telling you guys like a friend you guys know what I'm talking about you hit those divots at four or five miles an hour and then you got the little armrest and that thing just knocks your kidney and you're like wow that feels great for the rest of the day oh man I'm cracking myself up doing this guys all right number one you guys all know what it is I for the love of me cannot stand dog poop when we get it on our lawnmower tires there is nothing worse than in August and July having 90 degree weather 85% humidity I can't stand that stuff for the life of me I'm one of those people where I do call my customers I do text them and I say hey look I need you to keep up on the dog mess if not it's gonna be an extra charge and I always say hey first off it's a health issue but you know I don't want to track that lawn to lawn that normally gets most of them to clean it up but number two I teach my people sometimes hey you know maybe set up an automatic reminder on your phone that way you know every Wednesday morning that we're coming they get that automatic reminder on Tuesday to pick up your freaking dog crap I can't stand when it gets on the lawnmower tires I'm telling you guys like a friend I grab the customers hose and I spray that crap off right there man and you know what they're getting a $10 charge you guys know most people these days they feed their dog just table scraps and then their dog always has diarrhea or that creamy yellow crap <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about it's like for the love of God you're a dog you don't need to be feeding him table scraps and having him have diarrhea and then have your lawnmower guy run through it with his lawnmower tire and have that thing on there just smelling it up man and then you go real fast on a lawn 
stone or on the cement where it flings up, then it gets on my mower deck, and then I'm stuck smelling that crap for about the next four or five lawns until I can find a customer's house that has a hose and I can get that stuff off. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's my top 10 list. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I gotta go cut some lawns. If you guys have one that I didn't cover, do me a favor, leave a comment in the comment down below. What's one of your biggest lawn care pet peeves? By the way, guys, if you're not following on us on Instagram, make sure you do that because time to time I'm gonna be doing these top 10 lists. I love hearing your guys' input. Half of these came from you guys. And if you can leave a comment on Instagram as well when I do these, I can also include those into the uh, video and just help everybody have some more fun. All right, guys, what was your number one biggest pet peeves off this list or what was one that you wanted to add? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. As always, guys, lawn care is fun, but there are things that annoy the heck out of us. Everybody across the board, I know everybody's got their one thing that they can't stand. Make sure you leave a comment. Nonetheless, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also, guys, like this video and maybe share it with somebody in the business if you think it would be a fun video for them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You take care. Have a good weekend. And, guys, we'll catch up with you soon.